Elephant, thank you so much for clicking this video on Sunday and in this semi, I will be demonstrating you how I make this for my boy. And this is the first pair of leather works I want to make for him. And then what I did in here is that I want to get his foot size and then getting his foot size as well. I will be using to make the project. This project is completely made, stitched all together, no gum, no machine is required to make this project. Possible. So right in here, after I've used liquid water to just go and massage his foot and then place the foot on a cardboard. After placing the cardboard, it shows directly on the cardboard which I'm tracing out right now. So tracing it out, it is tracing out just for me to use this to get the pattern out. So we'll be getting the pattern out and then it's kind of a bit technical, but for if you can get it the way I've just, just done it, there's a link in the description of this video which I will put in the link that you can download this very pattern to use for yourself. So you have a one to two months baby at an end and then you can just download this and use it. And if you have a baby other than that, you bigger food than you can then decide to just use this all these methods I use in here to get all the patterns. Patterns is very very important in making project like this because you know uh, the, the, the baby foot is still very soft, not that strong. So everything you have to use in here has to be very careful about the comfort he gets from where. So right in here, it's I just need to just draft it out. Draft I'm grabbing the vap out. So. So the pattern making is just very very important as I said that you can if I cut this by just turning the link the pattern the position of this video so I try to get the pattern The next thing to then come over to use the pattern to cut the leathers out. Cutting the leathers out, the leathers you need to use in it. Have in mind that uh, the, the place that wants to use this is baby, and the skin is still very soft, so you will be using a very, very soft, a wet leather, not dry one, a very wet leather full of moisture. That's what you'll be using to get this out, and then you mark it out and cut it out and get it set to be stitched and stitched yes to be and stitched all together At this point right now, I've been able to get it and I'm making the holes, making the hole with my hole. And the essence of me making the hole is that so for it to be so easy to use this hand needle to penetrate it all out. We'll be using the hand needle and a wax thread. You can use a wax thread and non wax thread too. It's going to do this justice to this very well. So we're going to be using it to stitch it all. I'm going to start from the back and the front. Use hand weaving in there too. We're gonna hand weave it all around, get that in place before we then proceed to get it the base and stitch with it. So, right now, we need to first connect the front and the back all around together right now. At 
every point you're sticking this, make sure that all your stitches are tight. Make sure that all stitches are tight and if they're all straight, tight, tight is gonna make the shoe firm for a long period of time. So you can make sure it's very very tight. So at the time you finish the, the, the one part of the gonna make the other part and gradually you can see the shoe is forming to shape. It looks so very very small and it's Oh, but see, this is a bit technical to hold. Holding it is not quite easy. Holding it very small, but that is I'm trying to form it up to something that it can fit into a foot size. Remember, this what I just measure was just a foot size. What I just measure, don't measure the upper part of the, of the foot. You measure that just measure the foot size. So you have to make it in a way that it's going to be big enough for it to be comfortable in it and in mind you are using a shoelace to get it so it's gonna be adjustable very very it's gonna be so easy to adjust so at this point it's standing upright and we're gradually forming this to shape the next thing right now is to continue stitching it by stitching the base with the same thing we use in stitching the front and the back here which is this the needle and needle and the Thread. The fishing line thread is can do this, and this other way around, the wax thread is gonna do magic to this. Also. So let's go through the stitching of this right now. Right now, I'm done with this stitching. I can see it has formed the shape. The next thing gonna, I will be fixing on it now is the shoe lace. So, we will be fixing the shoe lace on it, hoping to use the shoe lace to adjust it on uh, the foot very well. So, right now, it's set as you can see all stitch round. All stitch round, okay. The first trial, trying this as right now, nothing in it. You can see. He looks very relaxed. Jedediah looks very, very relaxed. And then you can see how perfectly it looks. Uh, and thank you so much for watching this. Hope you like what you're seeing. Like, share, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell for you to be notified. We have a subscribe upload of such videos on our platform. Here, here is Jedediah First Shoes. And yeah, use the link to download the full pattern. Bye for now.